here we are, walking up to the theater to go see the Alien re-release for the 45th anniversary. This past weekend, I was able to go and experience what I consider a bucket list item for me. And that was, I got to go and watch the 45th anniversary re-release of the original Alien film in a movie theater. I'm not gonna go into a detailed plot description or anything about the original Alien movie. Uh, it's in popular culture. It's been around for 45 years. Most people, know the whole plot and the themes and all kinds of stuff about the movie. So I don't need to go into that. What I'm actually going to talk about is my experience going into a, a big movie theater. Uh, this was an AMC theater, not my local theater that I go to here in my little rural town. But going to a big, you know, chain cinema, seeing this classic movie uh, for the first time in my life, which is, like I said, a, a bucket list item for me uh, and something I didn't know would ever, you know, come around to where I'd be able to actually do that. I don't know how well Disney and Fox actually promoted this. Now, granted, I am in a small rural town. I'm not in a big city, so I never saw ads really at all for this or any sort of promotion that they were doing this re-release. Uh, coincidentally enough, what happened, the only reason I noticed that they were actually doing this is my wife and I had to go up to Chicago to visit my family recently for some family stuff. And we were gonna go to a movie theater up there uh, by where my parents live to go and see something uh, just, you know, when we had some downtime in between doing all the family stuff that we were doing. When we were looking up tickets online, we noticed that this Alien re-release was playing up there. It wasn't playing at a time we could actually see it up there in Chicago because of the stuff that was going on. So I looked and found out that, okay, I can get tickets for another theater that's down closer to where we live. Granted, it's like an hour away, but you know, I, we could get tickets down here. And so we bought tickets for a matinee show and we did this this past Sunday. And before the movie started, after the trailers were done, the director of Alien Rom Romulus, which I'm probably gonna butcher his name, it's Fetty Alvarez, I believe, and Ridley Scott talking about his movie, the new Alien Romulus movie, but also talking about the Alien franchise in the original Ridley Scott Alien and just talking about different stuff and everything. And it was this, like 20 or 30 minute conversation documentary piece that they played before Alien started, which is really neat to be able to actually see this sort of stuff. And I'm sure most likely that'll be a special feature on either a new re-release of Alien if they actually do it, or probably on the Alien Romulus home release whenever that comes out. But that played before the movie. And then when the movie actually started, me and my wife both tried to go into it with this idea that, okay, we're watching this for the first time. We're not actually trying to watch it through the lens of, okay, we've seen this movie hundreds of times. We know what's going to happen. We know all the little bits and pieces and all this stuff, but really trying to watch it, you know, for the first time, like, you know, this is the fresh experience for us. I've watched the original Alien movie, you know, hundreds of times throughout my life from an old VHS tape to a special edition DVD, to the Blu-ray release. Seeing it there in a proper theater environment, it's the best I've ever seen the movie look. The detail and the quality that's on there. Film grain is present, you know, it's not DNR'd to death. It's not like overly smoothed out or has a bunch of like post-processing effects or anything adjusted to it. It looks like an actual film that was filmed on film stock, which was really nice. Uh, the other thing that surprised me was the sound, the audio, which I'm assuming is the original 4.1 Dolby audio that was pulled from the original six track negative, which I believe is one of the audio options that's on this Blu-ray. And I also believe it's on the uh, 4K release that they did a few years ago. So it was basically the original theatrical audio. It wasn't like an upscale Dolby mix or DTS mix or anything. It was 
pretty much isolated to the front channels, the LCR of the screen. The rear surrounds were engaged very sparsely. And that kind of added to the experience of seeing this like it was originally meant to be presented back in 1979. And the movie really holds up to this day, and it really shows how a movie with a modest budget, if you get a director that has a vision and a cast that knows how to portray their characters and really takes their job seriously, and, you know, practical effects with a man in a suit and models and, you know, actual sets that's tactile that you can touch and you can feel and you can see the actors interacting with versus CGI everywhere, you know, and it's, it's somewhat timeless. You know, watching it now, 45 years later, granted, I never saw it theatrically when it first came out, but I would imagine this movie holds up exactly the same as it did back in 1979. I mean, it's, you know, the atmosphere, the tension, the world building of all the sets and everything, which every part of the ship feels unique, even though this is more or less a haunted house story just set in a spaceship out in the middle of space and instead of having you know a ghost or frankenstein or something the wolfman coming after you it's an alien and it's a very small claustrophobic set but all the different parts of the ship feel unique and you know give their own vibe and everything and like i said it just holds up it, it just it's it's a classic for a reason and it holds up and that leads me to a couple observations that I don't want to say are negatives necessarily, but that just struck me as interesting, at least for my area. Granted, I'm not in a huge city, so I don't know how this changes in a big market. But for the movie theater we saw it at, and I looked through every day and every showing that they had listed, the most tickets I ever saw sold for one showing of this movie was, I believe, 12 tickets, 12 or 13 tickets, which was on like... I think Friday night at like the seven or eight o'clock showing, the prime time showing. Otherwise, there was less than five people in the theater every time with a couple showings on like matinee showings during the middle of the week, having either no one signed up or one person in the theater. And that really kind of bums me out. And I get that this is a classic movie. It's been out in pop culture for 45 years. Everyone knows about it. but. This is a, a classic movie that really deserves to be seen in a big theater environment. And so to only see a limited amount of people interested in actually wanting to go and see something like this kind of bums me out. So to kind of wrap up the video here, this experience was one of the coolest experiences I've had, at least in my adult life, for watching a movie at a movie theater. And... I've seen other modern releases, you know, like the Marvel movies, you know, Infinity War and Endgame were like huge, you know, that I was super excited to see. And like more recently, we saw like Oppenheimer uh, on, you know, a big screen, which was really cool. We saw Top Gun Maverick a few years ago in IMAX. That was really cool. But for me, because of nostalgia, because of the historical significance of the film, because of the fact it's... Uh, re-release that's in a limited uh, time frame and all this sort of stuff being able to go and see the original alien in a big screen theater you know was was one of the coolest uh, things that I've been able to experience in terms of movie theater stuff for really my entire adult life it's definitely a bucket list list item that I'm so happy that I was able to to uh, cross off my list. And it really makes me want James Cameron and Disney and Fox to release Aliens theatrically for its 40th in a couple years. Uh, that would be the pinnacle for me. I really wanna see that in a theater. So Disney and Fox, get on that. You know, James Cameron, whoever, get on that. I, I wanna see that happen. Uh, I just wanna say thanks to everybody. I really do appreciate it. And uh, look forward, I have some more videos already scheduled that were previously filmed on my channel. Uh, and then I'm gonna be working on getting some new content up out there after this. So, uh, you know, I appreciate everyone sticking with me and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.